Good evening and welcome to Night Prayer. At the end of another day, with its concerns, its joys, its laughter, we come to the God who knows us. So let's take a moment, being still, settling ourselves with the one who is already here with his arms open wide for us. Isaiah 43, 1, but now do not be afraid, for I have, rede I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We bring this day, a new day different from every other to him. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. We've heard that verse quite a lot over these months. Psalm 4 verse 8, I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, Lord, make me dwell in safety. I will lie down and sleep in peace. And David knew so much of what it was to be chased, to be run down, to be hunted. It was part of what was going on with Saul hunting for him. But yet he was able to say, I will lie down and sleep in peace, for you are the one who makes me dwell in safety. He knew the call on his life. He knew that God would not let him face anything that he could not face. He knew that God would be with him and was with him. He knew that he was in God's hand and so he was able to sleep in peace. And yes, life is stressful and can be stressful with different things that are out of our control. The one thing we do have in our control that we know, though, is that we are children of the heavenly King. We are secure in his love and nothing can take that from us. And we're called to trust him, called to tell him about the things that trouble us, to leave them with him. He will look after them as we sleep. He will guard them while we are with him in that place of rest. We can trust and keep on trusting. Let's pray. Loving God, thank you for the ways in which you help us to sleep in peace. But Lord, you know too that there are times when our sleep is broken. In those places we ask now, would you minister peace? Let your peace so fill us and fill those things that trouble our minds that we might sleep quickly and wake refreshed. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us in peace and may your blessings be always upon us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And together we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. 
Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. And so may you know the peace of God as you sleep. May he surround you with his love and his hedge of protection. And may you awake refreshed in the morning. Amen. Bless you and sleep well. <laughs>